friends, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm sharing three things. It's going to be a very quick video. Three mistakes that people make when diffusing essential oils. Now, if you're anything like me, but as soon as I got my first set of essential oils and diffuser, I could not wait to rip into the box and just pour them all in and diffuse and like get all the goodness. But while it is pretty simple, there are just a couple of things to know. A little heads up, if you will. The first mistake is using way too much oil. Um, and I have gone like through a rhythm, I feel like, with this. At first, I didn't use a lot of oil at, at all. I used like one or two drops in my diffuser. And then I went from that to like really overpowering like 10 drops and I'm talking like a standard like 300 milliliter diffuser um, And so a good rule of thumb is like put start with one three drops Maybe and see if you can smell it and if you're able to smell it then that's good enough You don't have to make it super potent. These aren't like air fresheners or you're not masking um, Smells it's not like Febreze. So if you can smell it, it's good um, and just start low and then go up from there If you feel like but don't just start with putting 10 to 20 drops in a diffuser. It's wasteful um, both for the earth and your pocket. So um, make sure that you're using the proper amount of oils and all diffusers are different. Um, most diffusers are different in the size. So there are 100 mil diffusers, 300 mil diffusers. I will put a little guide on like how many drops to put in each size down below or in this blog post. So make sure you check that out if you are confused. Um, I have a huge diffuser. I think it's a 500 milliliter one that I put like 10 to 20 drops, um, but like a small one um, you might just need one or two drops. So just know your size and how many drops to put in each. The second mistake that people use um, when diffusing essential oils is a twofold kind of thing. One, using not good water. I could have said that probably better. <laughs> using poor quality water um, and then not cleaning your diffusers. Um, and really, you should do it weekly. I know it's just another thing like to think about and do, but if you don't want to keep buying new diffusers every couple of months, then you want to make sure you're cleaning them and using distilled water or filtered water. So we have well water. It's really harsh. And, um, it's really hard and it has a lot of rust or whatever it is that makes your stuff orange. Anyways, so we use um, a water softener and we have diffu or, um filters on our faucets so that first we're not drinking that water but you don't want to put it in your diffuser either it will definitely ruin it i've ruined um a few um before we got all of our filter systems going um i was just using the regular water and it kind of like crystallizes it um and puts like this film it's just gross so make sure you're using good water and clean your diffusers um, at least every other week. I have a whole video on this too, on like how to clean your diffusers. I'll put that here in the description so you guys can check that out. The third mistake people use is not checking first. If you have pets, um, to check and see if the oils you're diffusing are safe for your pet, for your pet, <laughs> for your pets, cats or dogs. Um, and it's different for each one. They're not the same. Um, and there are different lists. So I will put that in the blog post below. Make sure you check that out. It's a pretty long list for cats and a short list for dogs that are just not um, generally not safe um, to diffuse around them. Dogs, like I said, cats are way more sensitive and we've never had any issues, but it is something to think about. Some dogs are more sensitive than others, so just keep that in mind when you're just popping something into your diffuser. And next, I have just one little um, quick tip, pro tip. Um, if you are unsure if something is going to smell good together, um, say you have three different oils, um, I don't know, orange, lemon, and lime. That's very just citrusy. But anyways, you get it. Um, if you don't know if they're going to smell good together, take the lid off of all of them, hold them all up to your nose, and kind of just take a whiff. Um, and if that doesn't smell good, uh, it's probably not going to be good in your diffuser either. It's fun to try new diffuser blends. Go on Pinterest and search for some. There's like millions there, but that's a quick little, if you just have them on hand and want to see if they smell good, hold them up. Um, okay. I will link a bunch of my favorite diffusers. I have used so many, um, and I just did a giveaway on one in a video a couple of weeks ago. Let me know if that was fun, if you guys want me to do that again. I can definitely do more giveaways here on YouTube if you guys want me to. I just, I don't know, I feel like Instagram is more the giveaway place, but let me know if you want me to do that. Most of my favorite essential oils um, are linked, as well as all of the favorite diffusers that we use. I'm um, in my Amazon storefront, and that will be linked down below and in the blog post to go with this, but let me know if you have any questions or requests on videos. Thank you guys so much for watching today. I hope you have a good day. Bye.